An attack on the Russian-occupied Crimean Peninsula cost the lives of four or five civilians as well as over 150 wounded. Now we have a new video showing us what actually caused that and my yesterday's assessment that this was likely the cause of cluster munition from an attack camps is more or less proven at this point. We'll look in this video, we are going to see the, the video that shows that it was actually cluster munition, but we'll put it in, into perspective and what ammunition was used and why did that attack matter and did the Ukrainians do it on purpose and how does this have to be judged. But as said, more about this in this video. Now in yesterday's video, by the way, I have to record it a second time before because the first time the audio didn't work well, OBS really doesn't like me. So yesterday's situation report, I'm going to link it to you up here. I said this, let me quickly play it for you. Of casualties also seem to be low, but if we listen in here, let me quickly turn on the sound. Um, you can listen here a video from that beach. Now, no casualties are visible, but the characteristic sound, for me, that's undoubtedly cluster munitions. Like I yesterday said, for me, the sound was, I had no doubt that this must be cluster munition. And we actually have a new video showing it from probably a surveillance camera. Let's look into this. No casualties visible, at least not identifiable. You see all the hits on the horizon. That's clear cluster munition that's being spread out. But unfortunately, not all of them were lucky because one of them is hitting here. Now, in I posted this on Twitter as well, and some comments were confused because, like, how can the people keep running here? And we don't even see that plastic ring being deflated at this moment. Let's start with the plastic ring. Any one of you who has ever had an air mattress that got punctured knows they usually don't explode. They just vent the air. They are not like a balloon. So it's quite possible that this plastic ring was empty 10 seconds later, just because we don't see it in the two or three seconds that it's here doesn't prove anything. And that people keep running doesn't matter that much either because the damage cluster munition does is through through shrapnel. Those people right here might be the ones that actually succumbed to the attack that died in it. They just had artery severed and were able to walk or run a few more meters because before they fell over being unconscious. So this doesn't prove anything. But we see that the spread out um, explosions are mostly on the water. That explains why not a lot more people have died. And we had the Russians yesterday about this mentioning this. Let me. I'm sorry, let me quickly take the English version. This said the Russian Ministry of Defense on their official Telegram account, they said that uh, they shot down for attack camps and a fifth one was hit by their air defense, weird off of course, exploded in the air and caused casualties on the ground. So even the Russians, before they decided they wanted to use it for propaganda purposes by accusing the US to have done that attack because of targeting and the missile being, being sent, even before all of this happened, the Russians themselves said it was a mistake, it was a tragic accident. I mean, they don't use those words, but they didn't claim that Ukraine tried to kill civilians, which wouldn't make any sense anyways, especially what if we regard that they have so few of those missiles available. So what was used was likely the M47. Um, here it explains why, why we only see a certain amount of explosions, even though there should be 300, why initially there weren't any dots. Um, the, first of all, the dot rate is only 5 to 10%. So if we say that 10 explosions happened on the beach, 10 of them hit on the beach, it's far than certain that there must be a dot left. And then once they are thrown out from the missile, they start rota rotating at 2400 RPM because of these fins here. These fins and the rotation arm the fuse. Only then should it explode. So if the missile is actually hit, breaks apart and the warhead only loses a certain number of this submunition, the rest will go down with the missile and not explode as the 
ro rotation hasn't armed the the fuse so this is the explanation why um, people have um, while the number of explosions was lower than expected when we go to the damage why were people able to run past it the weight of this is only 590 grams that's only 50 percent more than a frag grenade than a hand grenade the explosives in it should be less than 300 i didn't find exact numbers but if we take a hand grenade it should be roughly 30 300 roughly 300 i think it should be significantly less as it has to be built for the rotation and thus should be more fragile and probably less explosives could be in it but i could be wrong here let's roughly assume 300 at the same time it's meant to do damage against personnel but also against light armored vehicles and for that creating tiny fragments tiny shrapnels in a huge number might be good against personnel but not against a bmp or something like this for that you need uh, bigger shrapnels that do more damage that carry more force in them so the number of shrapnels that are being created by an m74 i was not able to find it but it should not be massive and as they explode and the shrapnels walk away in a sphere the more you are away from it the less likely you are being hit and it's probably like in in potencies even a meter further away makes it significantly likely less being hit so those people running here might have actually had a small chance at least a chance higher than zero percent of not being hit at all this has to be understood while we simply don't see them drop all around especially as the the pattern it was it was spread was not as anticipated this was not a planned attack where the missile does its function to make sure that the shrapnel pattern is lethal to everything inside of it it was very likely just a missile breaking apart and thus spreading them out on a bigger field so no surprise in this regard from what i see uh, my yesterday's analysis was spot on i have not seen any uh, any evidence against it claims that it might have been an, a surface to air missile made no sense as the missile shown was from from the Tor M2 system, which is Shorat, that isn't even capable of shooting down attack amps. So that was not the reason either. So while we have extremely likely that it was a Ukrainian attack amps, how do we have to judge that? First of all, we have even the Russians admitting initially that the Ukrainians didn't do it on purpose. That's the first thing. The other thing is this beach is several hundred meters away from an airfield. In my very limited understanding of the rules of law it's the military's purpose the military's job to stay away from civilians and from civilian targets it's not the attacker's job to make sure no civilians die whatsoever he just has to make sure that he doesn't aim for them specifically and as the russians can hardly move their airfield somewhere else it would have been their job to close down the beach and make sure that at least on a beach within a kilometer from a military airfield there are no civilians on a beach vacation while the missile hits that doesn't mean they have they got what they deserve as some claims as, as some comments i've already seen civilians are still not a legitimate target in a war even civilians of an aggressor nation in occupied territory um, the civilian casualties are a tra tragedy but uh, the fault of it lies with the russians not with the ukrainians in this in this event um, if you enjoyed this video Despite the grim topic, please give it a thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. Leave a comment what you think about the events. And if you're new here, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future videos. This channel might be demonetized because I dare to show events that have happened. So in, especially in cases like this, it's really uh, help, your, your support is really helpful. So if you like to support the channel, which is only possible because of the support of viewers like you, then you find the means to do so in the description. Thank you very much to everyone already supporting this channel. But that's it from me for now. Thank you for watching and I'll be back.